Right oh now, listen. Racing. They've gone away in a fair line. Varik was a little bit slow to go. First out, Dayara, but which began smartly. And Aggie hunting up on the inside is going to share the lead as they settle. Drink Guard Princess settling back in the field and around them goes Beja Floor, but trapped out deep from Court Dancer. Back in the field, Varik making some ground. Gadina at the head, tail of the field there, Talak Toff. And back with it as they work down the side uh, would have been Sweet Lady Bird. A thousand metres out, Dayara just in front as they head to the railway side and neck to Beja Floor. Two lengths to Aggie third, a length for the back then is Bewitch with Court Dancer on the inside and a half to Varik. Two lengths away then comes uh, Drink Card Princess Godina, Sweet Lady Bird and last of all is Talak Top. 700 metres out and Beja Floor up on the outside has taken a narrow lead here with Dayara. A length to Aggie third then comes Bewitch Court Dancer going up on the inside from Barik. Around them Sweet Lady Bird with Godina, Drink Card Princess back second last and Talak Top is at the tail. Up to the turn 450 out and Beja Floor the outside and Dayara being hunted up. Third place is Aggie from Court Dancer getting up on the inside deeper out but which sweet lady bird Varik back to the inside drink card princess then Talak Tov Godina at the 200 Beja floor takes a narrow lead Dayara won't give up on the inside drink card princess gets the split goes after them quickly and trying to go with it was Court Dancer drink card princess though took the lead at the 50 meter mark and started to draw away late Talak Tov but drink card princess wins comfortably by two and a half lengths to Court Dancer Talak Tov is third then Beja floor every chance followed by Dayara Varik, then Sweet Lady Bird, Bewitch Godina, and last in was Aggie. With a three drink card princess, six dollars, two twenty, two court dancer, four dollars, one Talak Toff, a dollar eighty. Three drink card princess, five ninety, and two dollars ten, two court dancer, four ten, and one Talak Toff, one dollar eighty. Came around the two leaders at the two hundred, and there's one running away. Number three drink card princess takes out the Frank O'Brien handicap. It's a photo second and third between Court Dancer, who's got it, number two, written by Stephen Baster, and third placing coming from last, number one, and that was Talak Toff. Three, two, one are the numbers on race number three. Fourth placing going to number nine, and that was Beja Floor. And we stand by for fifth. The time, 125.87, 125.87. The record, 121.7, held for many, many years by Princess Plume. Uh, it's been a top wind. She drifted like, uh, well, as they, the old saying, she blew like the north wind in the bedding. But a perfect ride by Merton, saving ground everywhere. And the totes, three, two, one. Presses the button, they're off. And Nimble Feet was first to get out. Commencing well was Invitation going up quickly. Not a mistake, followed by Light here, McJoey. Next and one off the rails is Digger Bill and Wider Serbacus, followed by Nardel Lineage, El Zabana. And the veteran in the field, Glen Express, drops out to last. Racing along the back of the track to the 1200. And Invitation is the clear leader now. A little over a length on Nimble Feet and not a mistake. Light here is travelling fourth over on the inside of Serbacus, a length and a half then to McJoey. And then comes Digger Bill and Nardell whipping around them, followed closely by El Zabana Glen Express, and Lineage is the tail ender. Onto the side of the track they run, about 900 left to go, and Invitation leads the way from Not a Mistake. Sir Bacuse has found himself out three wide, followed on the inside next by Nimble Feet. Nardell is going up, four and five out next, followed by Lightyear, who's had a good run behind the speed. McJoey's parked on the inside of Digger Bill from El Zabana Lineage, and last of all being Glen Express. Down past the 600 they travel, and invitation attacked for the lead by Sir Bacus. Three quarters to not a mistake between them. A length further back is Nimble Feet, followed by Lightyear in the middle, momentarily held in by Nardell, and two lengths to Digger Bill, straightening up. 300 left to go on top of the rise. Not a mistake got to invitation, followed by Digger Bill joining in quickly. And then comes Nardell and El Zabana's coming right down the outside from Lightyear. Digger Bill hits the front. El Zabana is starting to close in on the outside and swoosh past Digger Bill El Zabana and down to the line goes El Zabana to win easily from Digger Bill and Lightyear then came McJoey and Lineage. A break invitation Nardell then came Nimble Feet not a mistake. Next to last was Sir Bacuse and Glen Express at the tail of the field. On the super tab number 2 El Zabana 680 210 7 Digger Bill 410 6 for third Lightyear 190 treble 122 $35 at $6.70 and $2.30 very good ride. He's doing very well, this young fellow, El Zabana. And uh, he's got a fairly uh, good record over the 1,600 metres. And uh, 
He came down the outside and proved much too strong. By Terse from laps to Chestnut Gelding 5, trained by Clary Connors, Ferrar and R.D. Ferrari, G.F. Henville, K.J. Coleman, R.C. Long and well-known Parramatta Toyota dealer, Terry Shields and Jackson Morris in the saddle. Second and third placings resting between Digger Bill and Light Yichi Light Year was given a good run by Danny Nikolic. He wasn't good enough. Number seven is second, Digger Bill. And uh, the tote is $4.20. Number six is third, and that is Light Year has paid one eighty two seven and six. The runner-up Digger Bill by Yonder from Prago Fast to Bay Gilding Five, trained by Darren Smith, Corey Brown. And uh, number six, Light Year third by Bellotto from Bellapsi, Missa Brown, Gilding Four, Kerry Jordan, Danny Nicolick. Superfecta numbers not yet in their entirety. Uh, Quinella has returned 68.40, Exacta 113.10, Trifecta 722.50, and the full Superfecta placings now available, 276, 4103, 276, 410, and 3. And uh, Lightyear, I suppose he was just held up at uh, a crucial stage. Had he got clear a little earlier, there's no doubt he would have run second, but he couldn't have beaten the winner in a pink fit. Too good, El Zabana from the Clary Connors Yard at Warwick Farm. He's returning. But they're off this time. And Yuma Wallace stood there. Marco Fumi missed it also. First out, all a blur. Talioka gathering storm and can resort began well. Hula Wonder and Arabian Magic are up handy as they run down the hill from Harvey. Behind those then was rolling dice. Marco Fumi going up deep. They're very tightly packed with the exception of Yuma Walla, who's some five or six lengths away at the rear down the side. And gathering storm and all a blur. The joint leaders from Arabian Magic, Marco Fumi. Then Hula Wonder over on the inside. Ahead away comes can resort. Uh, further back then was rolling dice Harvey on the inside Talioka and about eight lengths last of all is Yuma Walla. 800 metres out all a blur just in front here of Gathering Storm Marco Fumi deep over on the inside Can Resort with Hula Wonder travelling up now to fourth between horses next then as they run before the turn Arabian Magic Harvey coming deep a length of rolling dice Talioka and forget all about Yuma Walla. 450 out on the corner all a blur a half length in front of Gathering Storm Hula Wonder over on the inside running on followed by Marco Fumi Harvey deep and further back then comes at the head of the others can resort and Arabian Magic right out of it in the straight all a blur in front of Gathering Storm Hula Wonder's got the run goes up quickly on the outside next is Marco Fumi then Arabian Magic inside the 200 Hula Wonder took the lead from all a blur Gathering Storm had ducked in Hula Wonder it's just in front of all a blur then Gathering Storm and Arabian Magic late but Hula Wonder does it again Hula Wonder comes away and scores by two lengths on the line to Gathering Storm third and neck away over on the inside, all a blur from Arabian Magic Harvey. Can Resort followed by Rolling Dice Talioka. Well back, Marco Fumi and last in Yuma Walla. One Hula Wonder, three ten, one fifty. Eleven Gathering Storm, three dollars. Four All a Blur, two dollars. One Hula Wonder, three twenty, one sixty. Eleven Gathering Storm, three dollars. Four All a Blur, two twenty. And uh, this very, very good horse from the northeast gets home here again. Number one, Hula Wonder, Ernie Marchant. Takes out the Joe Brown Super Bobas handicap. All right, uh, moving in Newcastle. National Racing Service. Four, Hula Wonder. Racing. And immediately magical walk and a harmonised drop out the back. And one of the early leaders is Imperial Life. Tsunami jumped away pretty well. And the same can be said for Sweet Charity. Host status caught up out of a little wide now as they settle. Followed by Zapatiado. A length further back, Steel Springs, Bull Defence, Lamoulin scooting up nearer to the inside. From News of the World, harmonised Trista Bella. And last of all is Magical Walk. They race on past the 1100 and Tsunami pulled her way to the lead. Three quarters of a length on Host Stad Bull Defence is third. Imperial Life next inside Sweet Charity, then Zapatiado. Caught wide out as Steel Springs at a gap to La Moulin, followed by News of the World. Harmonised Tristabella and two lengths to Magical Walk. Racing onto the side, going to the halfway point at the 800, and Tsunami pilots the field. She's three quarters of a length or a half length now on Host Stad. Bull Defence is next, followed off the track by Steel Springs, and then Sweet Charity in the middle. On the inside is Imperial Life, a length Zapatiado. 
Santiago, followed by Lamoulin, rather awkwardly placed, and then comes harmonized Tristabella. News of the world is back to second last, and Magical Walk the trailer as they turn for home. And Tsunami straightens up just the leader from Hostad, Bull Defense, followed by Steel Spring, Sweet Charity, Imperial Lives, Apatiado, a couple of lengths to La Moulin, and well back is News of the World, Hostad and Tsunami, a length on Bull Defense with 150 to go. Tsunami the inside, and Hostad, Magical Walk is rushing home from a mile back. Here's a go. On the inside, Tsunami from Hostad, and Magical Walk out wide. What a finish. We've got Tsunami, Hostad, and Magical Walk. Walk. Terrific go. Lamoulin flew home. Then came Bold Defence Harmonise, Imperial Life. News of the World, Zapatiado, followed by Steel Springs and Sweet Charity. And last of all was Tristabella. Super Tab, two Tsunami, 471.90. The other one, uh, number six, Hostad. $21.450 and ten for third Magical Walk, 980. Side and the Hostad battling it out. And then Magical Walk came screaming down the outskirts of the track and La Moulin was handy to a real head bobbing finish here and it is a bobby dazzler it is a ripper tsunami's the inside right up their host stead and on the extreme outside is magical walk hang on to your tickets could go any one of three ways yeah let's have a look at the totes um working from the top here's the number Number two is the winner, Tsunami gets there. Number two is the winner, Tsunami, written by Larry Cassidy, and a great roar here from this big crowd. Number two, Tsunami, at 440 for the win, 180 for the place. Number six, Host Stad has paid 460. And number 10, Magical Walk, at $11.20. The time for the race was 136.73. And the winner, Tsunami, lightly race, four starts, two wins and two seconds. Continues a fantastic run of success being enjoyed by trainer Bill Mitchell. And he puts the polish on this Air de France Rouge Bateau filly for Ms. W. Orlay, Ms. R. Burney, B. McKay, Dr. M. Cullen, Ms. K. North and A. R. Wilson. And another win to Larry Cassidy. Tsunami scoring, I'd imagine, by a whisker from host dad and a whisker to Magical Walk. 31.30 Quinella, 53.90 Exacta, 1.337 something 90 i think for the trifecta will confirm that they've just disappeared when they're coming back to the enclosure with larry cassidy in the saddle they're off and racing now and in the center pluska away smartly well away was call me spike and over on the outside of it veering from the outside magic music and sports are crossing quickly as they settle back along the inside grand bay and santiro czar hero back at the tail now zuccarino and actually tarred off his hong kwok star in front of those fire lake magic music at the 800 got the lead though by a length two sports over on the inside santiro and holding the rails is grand bay deep around them pluska with clay shot a length of fire lake and then call me spike grand bay dropped back very quickly there. Back with it at the uh, come up towards the turn. Zuccarino from Zahiro Hero veering and last of all is Hong Kwok Star. 500 metres out Magic Music by nearly a length of sports. A length further back on the outside Clay Shot Pluska deep out. Call me Spike. Santiro back along the inside from Fire Lake and then Rancho Spark. Grand Bay. They're in the straight though at the 300 and Magic Music held together by a length sports on the outside then Clay Shot. Deeper out. Call me Spike Fire Lake and Pluska over on the rails Magic Music grabbed by sports with a 150 to go on the outside clay shot trying to get the sports but 50 meters out sports in front clay shot on the outside as inch by inch picking it up sports in front clay shot going to it i think sports may have hung on nothing in it though sports from clay shot flying for third hong kwok star then plush gazar hero magic music call me spike veering santiro grand bay followed by zuccarino fire lake and last in rancho spark this is very tight here it goes number two sports 11 73 50 12 clay shot at $50.70 and $11, 11 Hong Kong Star, 410, correct weight Perth, 564. Two sports, 13.30, 410, at 12, Clay Shot, 8.30 the place, and 11 Hong Kong Star to return 360. Those placings are official now, 2.12 and 11, and that treble on 312, 152.50. 12 second, Clay Shot. Rod Griffiths, and third placing to number 11, Hong Kong Star, making up a mile of ground over the last little uh, bit of the journey. 2, 12 and 11. 2, 12 and 11 sports, bringing up a double for Greg Childs. Number 12 second. 
And that is Clay Shot Rod Griffiths and 11 Hong Kwok Star, third in a time of 112.14. 112.14. Fourth in, number seven, Magic Music. And fifth in was number three, Pluska. Racing in the Summer Cup, a good break too, and here's Ronnie, one of the best out, Dance Till Dawn, hopped into stride well. Lahar is right up there in the early stages, and so too wider out Stony Bay. Pastor Express is settling about fifth on the rails, a length of Bombas, sixth and one off the fence, followed by Valence, Pajamas trying to find an alley, and then Goodwood, followed by Luther, Don Tristram, and wider out is Bombardment from Heza Dane, strolling home as second last, and two lengths to our Mr. Kinman. Dance Till Dawn is the leader, and as they race past the uh, 1800 marker now. It's Dance Till Dawn in front by a length and a half on Stony Bay. Here's Ronnie settles third, two lengths to Pastor Express on the inside of the stablemate Laha. A length of Allens followed closely then by Bombardment. One off the rails is Bombast. A length and a half further off is Goodwood parked on the inside of Pajamas. Then Don Tristram Luther on its outside. A couple of lengths further off is Strolling Home on the outside of Heserdane. And last of all is our Mr. Kinman. They're stringing out in the Tui Summer Cup. 14 hundred to go and dance till dawn pilots the field to stony bay here's ronnie is running third followed by pastor express and then comes valence a length further back bombardment laha goodwood is next over on the inside rail a length and a half further off in the field then bombast and two and a half coming at the head of the others pajamas and then another two lengths further off is luther they're really stringing out now inside of luther is don tristram from strolling home our mr kinman at he's a dane brings up the rear they're racing to the side of the track now coming along past the 900 dance till dawn three quarters to a length on stony bay here's ronnie pastor express being given every conceivable chance followed by valence and bombardment and further back is bombast now as they race down the side lahar is just in front of bombast followed on the inside by goodwood a length and a quarter further away in the field is pajamas followed closely by our mr kinman and then luther further back don tristram he's a dane and strolling home as last around the corner and dance till dawn straightens up a length and a half clear stony bay is second followed by pastor express on the inside is ears ronnie two lengths lahar then valence followed by bombast at the 200 dance till dawn the leader here's pastor express in hot pursuit third posse stony bay pastor express after dance till dawn pastor express dance till dawn dance till dawn still in front Dance till dawn. Dance till dawn all the way to win the Summer Cup from Pastor Express. Bombast third, then Stony Bay is Ronnie Laha. Followed by at the head of the others, Goodwood, Luther, then came Valence. Wide out next was our Mr. Kinman, pajamas strolling home bombardment. Second last in the field, and that was Heza Dane and Don Tristram a distant last. 11 Dance Till Dawn Super Tab, $129.80 and $22.20. 14. Pastor Express $1.60 and uh, for third number four Bombast $2.10 Daily Double 2 and 11 $914.30 Away ridden by Kevin Moses paying $129.10 Oh things you dream about and $20.50 for the place number 14 second Pastor Express given a perfect run $1.90 a number four bombast third has paid 230 quinella 385 dollars exact a 960 to 20 and the trifecta 5869 dollars and 30 cents 586930 time for the race was 22865 two minutes 2865 the record is 22750 and the winner danced till dawn all the way. A brilliantly judged ride in front by Kevin Moses. Bounced him out of the five gate. Eight years of age. Age shall not weary them. And in actual fact, he was the oldest horse in the event. And danced till dawn is by tights from courting. Raced by B and Mrs M McFadden and PJ Fagan. Trained for them by Kevin Robinson. And ridden by Kevin Moses. And... Uh, that would be Kevin Moses' first win in a summer, summer Cup. The winning margin was a short head. There wasn't much in it. Short head, three-quarters of a length, second and third, 228.65.
The first 1200, 116.84, the last 600 in 36.17. Well, Bombas was giving a, given a lovely run by Larry Cassidy, every hope. Perfect ride by Corey Brown on Pastor Express. He was going to win 14 times in the straight Pastor Express, but he just couldn't get past Dance Till Dawn. And Kevin Moses, uh, he would have been the oldest jockey in the race, uh, combined with the oldest horse, and they've got the money. All the usual top... Well, straight out the back early, Calabash Bay and on the inside, Mata Duress away quickly and Bell Pirate being hunted up with Sky Tris, Smoochie Smooch and Fleischer, a line of about five as they settle behind them, no mystery, then comes Flirty Bird Belong and last of all is Alfred's duel about seven off the lead, inside the 1600, inside the 1600 and it's Smoochie Smooch now leading by three parts of a length of Fleischer, two to Sky Trist who's third, fourth on the inside, Mata Duress, one to Bell Pirate and Alfred's duel from the rear going up quickly now as they start the run up the hill at the 1400 from Flirty Bird, no mystery. Calabash Bay back along the inside and the length and a quarter off last of all is Belong. Towards the 1200, Smoochy Smooch by just on a length of Fleischer. Sky Trist inclined to pull just a little over on the outside of Mata Duress, a length and a half to Alfred's duel out deep. Flirty Bird, the centre bell pirate on the inside, a couple to no mystery racing around Calabash Bay and a length off last of all is Belong. Down the hill to the 1000 and the leader Smoochy Smooch by a half length to Fleischer, two lengths further back Sky Trist on the inside Mata Duress, one to Alfred's Duel who's running fifth inside at Flirty Bird, then Bell Pirate joined by No Mystery, a couple to Belong and Calabash Bay, down towards the 850 and the leader Smoochie Smooch, a neck in front of Fleischer, two and a half to Sky Trist on the outside of Mata Duress, Alfred's Duel is tracking deep, then Flirty Bird back along the inside from No Mystery, Bell Pirate being ridden along from Belong and Calabash Bay now dropped out as they race towards the turn, 600 metres out, Fleischer and Smoochie Smooch, Sky Trist now asked to go out Alfred's duel deeper out, making its run was no mystery. Further back then over on the inside, Mata Duress trying to get through traffic was Flirty Bird. Belong is deep, followed by Bell Pirate as they jam up and Calabash Bay around the turn and Sky Trist has hit the lead here. Sky Trist at the 350, broke away, no mystery, going to second. Flirty Bird getting up on the inside and Bell Pirate, Sky Trist is struggling. Flirty Bird at the 200 took the lead, Bell Pirate switching around heels. No mystery after Flirty Bird and Bell Pirate and late down the outside, Calabash Bay, but Flirty Bird in front near home from No Mystery and then Bell Pirate and Flirty Bird gets in. Flirty Bird by a length and three quarters, No Mystery. Bell Pirate third from Sky Trist. Then Calabash Bay belong behind it. Alfred's dual Fleischer, Matadores and Smoochie Smooch last in. Number six, the winner, Flirty Bird, written by Brett Preble. Number six, Flirty Bird gets in here, written by Brett Preble, bringing up a double for Brett. So he and Greg Charles going hammer and tongs here. Two leading riders, number six, Flirty Bird. Is the winner, number four is second, no mystery, written by Rod Griffiths. And number five, third, Bell Pirate. And the rider, Brent Stanley. Six, four, five, six, four and five. Fourth in was number two, Sky Trist. And fifth in to number 10, Calabash Bay. Time for the journey, 26.20. 26.20 numbers official 645 the winner flirty bird is by Okahira from uh, Nicolaine a northern native mare now raced by A Tootle so the footballers have uh, sold it oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Liam Pickering and Lee Tudor of course were uh, involved in flirty bird trained by Midge Didham and brings up a double for Brett Preble number four no mystery by Okahira from Artful Lass Tony Vassal Rod Griffiths very close to a win and five Bell Pirate didn't have a great deal of luck coming towards the uh, 250 where uh, it went for a run near the inside, was uh, disappointed, had to come deep. Didn't really finish the race off all that uh, quickly, but it was getting to the line reasonably strongly all the same by Pirate Army out of uh, Sunnabel, trained by Terry O'Sullivan and Brent Stanley, the winning rider. Tote dividends. 5, 10, 170, Flirty Bird. 240, no mystery. 310, Bell Pirate. Five. OK, Flirty Bird, 5, 10, one dollar eighty, the winner. All right, in now, Newcastle, and uh, it's race number six, and it's due in a couple of minutes from now. Let's have a look at the market. Blazing Arch at $8.20. We have... Uh, Pal
They're off. Land sighting seemed to jump away pretty well. Federal agent is going up to tackle land sighting for the early lead. Poetic Baron is moving up into third position, followed closely by the Bishop over on the inside. Turn Me Loose is not that far away as they settle down from Bacon Empire, Princietta. Then comes on the inside at the head of the other's armour, piercing from Gallant Lad. Zeus's million second last. Le Mans is at the tail. 7.50 to go and land sighting leads clearly from Federal agent around the Bishop and to Poetic Baron. Turn Me Loose on the inside a little more than a length the Baycan Empire followed by Prince Sienna. three to armor piercing and gallant lad second last is Zeus's millions at a couple of lengths to Le Mans under the stick as they round the corner land siding is starting to hang rather noticeably and up the rise land siding a half length on the bishop a length and a half federal agent Prince Sienna called upon followed by turn me loose and down to the 200 and land siding gets away from the bishop turn me loose Prince Sienna. Zeus's millions is down the outside armor piercing angling for a split Land Siding still in front, 100 to go. On the outside, Zeus's Millions trying to pick him up at Armour Piercing. Land Siding still the leader, he'll win. Land Siding from Zeus's Millions and Armour Piercing. Then Gallant Lad followed by Federal Agent, the Bishop, Turn Me Loose, Prince Sienna. Then came Poetic Baron, Bacon Empire, and last all the way was Le Mans. On the Super Tab, nine land sighting, 261.70, six Zeus's millions, 440, 10 armor piercing, 520. B140, Zeus's millions, number 6510, 10 armor piercing, checkered passage in the straight, $4.60. And land sighting having his first start since the up and coming at Warwick Farm in August, trained by Noel Mayfield Smith for JL Cannon, A. Barbutus, and M.A. Stagoulis by Greg from Political Asylum. A three-year-old bay gilding written by Daniel Beasley. 9610 official. The Quinella has paid $29.10. Exact a 35.30. Trifecta 417.30. The 11 into 9 New South Wales daily double. $370.80. The winners very lightly raced. Five starts for three wins and a second. And Danny Beasley has... Uh, been aboard him uh, for the bulk of his uh, successes. Second home, number six here, Zeus's Millions, his first run since uh, the 22nd of August. He's by Ken Mayer from McGinty's Millions, coming from the tail of the field, a four-year-old Grey Gelding, John Hawkes, Rod Quinn, a number 10 for third, Armour Piercing. I bite the bullet from Waterford Fair, a Bay Gelding for Graham Beck, Danny Nikolik, a number eight, fourth Federal Agent. I think that'll be a very good form race for the future. The winning margin was only a short head with a long neck, second and third. Short head, long neck. They've run 110.07 here. 110.07. That has smashed the class record. But the better not happy. All clear there. They're off now. And they've jumped in a perfect line. Pearl Prince Babetto first out with Mustang Red and Berserk on the inside is going to take the advantage of gate one and hunts up on the fence. Flak Jacket's caught about five deep and Dancing Salt the six wide as they settle. Then still Phoenix, Dan Voir, Noble Deed and dropping out to the tail of the field, it's windy again. At the 1400, Dancing Sculptor takes over, breaks away two and a half, Babetto. Pearl Prince on the inside of Mustang Red and Flak Jacket caught out deep, one away still Phoenix on the outside of Berserk. Then two lengths to Dan Voir, one of a half noble deed and the length off last is windy again on top of the hill 1200 meters out and dancing sculptor put the brakes on here leads by three parts of a length babetto flak jacket is third but tracking deep around mustang red and pearl prince the inside three lengths further back then berserk on the inside of steel phoenix a couple to danvois second last noble deed and it's windy again is on the rails 900 meters out down the side and the leader